Hej, jeg hedder Kirsten Djervi, og jeg arbejder som bandagist hos SAVA. Hvis jeg skal fortælle lidt omkring Wargate-systemet, så består det af sådan en lille manchet, som man har rundt om lægmusklen. Og det den ligesom kan, det er, at den kan gå ind og afhjælpe en dropfod. Hvor de traditionelle skinner, de, som mange patienter kender, jo, går ind og fixerer foden i en vis stilling. Øh, hvor uh, Wargate-systemet går ind via elektroder og stimulerer musklerne på det tidspunkt i gangen, hvor man ligesom har brug for, at foden rent faktisk bliver løftet. Det er også gang i muskulaturen, som man jo som dropfodspatient ikke selv har mulighed for at aktivere. Øh, og der er mange, der faktisk gav udtryk for, da vi testede det, at de synes det var rigtig fedt at mærke, at de her muskler de ligesom kom i gang igen, og man følte næsten, at man havde, havde trænings øh, ondt, ligesom man havde været ude at træne. Øh, og at det, ligesom, det føles rigtig positivt, fordi at, øh, at man følte, der har, har manglet noget. De patienter, som kan have gavn af, af Wargate-systemet, det er patienter, som har en skade i det centrale nervesystem. Øh, og det vil sige, at det enten er i hjernen eller i, i rygmagen, øh, man skal have en skade. Øh, og de øh, sådan største diagnoser, der er inden for det, det er stroke, som også er altså hjerneblødning eller en blodprop i hjernen. Og det er patienter med sklerose. Og så er det både børn og voksne, der har CP eller cerebral parese. Jeg hedder Kim Andersen. Jeg er 43 år. Jeg har lidt af noget, der hedder brown sequart syndrom som gør, at jeg har fået en dropfod, og det er en medfødt lidelse. Hvorfor har Louis, og hvorfor har du en dropfodskine? Jamen, hvorfor har du det, Louis? Fordi, at min fod ikke bevæger Fordi, ja, fordi du har cerebral parese, ikke? Ja. Jeg har en lille, en, haft en lille blodprop op i hovedet, som styrer din venstre motorik, ikke? I venstre side, ja. Den her, jamen det er den her, og den jamen det er den her. Ja. Og så, hvad bruger han at hjælpe med nu? Hvad bruger du at hjælpe med? Hvad har du på benet? Hvad? Hvad, på den, hvad plejer du at have her på benet? En skinne. En benskinne, mm. ikke? Det er det. Og så får han noget Botox. Mm. Jeg har faktisk ikke brugt noget til daglig. Jeg har fået en dårfodskinne lavet for nogle år siden inde hos en bandagis, men jeg har aldrig brugt den, for jeg brød mig simpelthen ikke om den. Den passede mig simpelthen ikke. Jeg bruger, mærker helt klart en begrænsning i og med, at jeg går små snubler lidt og øh, skal kigge mere nedad end fremad nogle gange. Jeg har svært ved at gå op ad trapper og sådan, bliver træt sidst på dagen, så jeg trænger til øh, tæt hjælpen ud. Louise, kan du så fortælle mig, hvordan var det at have den på? Hvad Den der lille computer, du havde på benet, hvordan var den at have på? Sjovt. Var det sjovt? Ja. Hvordan mærkede den? Hvordan mærkede du den? Øhm, jeg mærkede den, fordi den kiggede så meget. Du kiggede så meget? Ja. Men hjalp den din fod med at gå op? Ja, det gjorde ja. det. <laughs> Hvordan var det, da du løb? Var det sjovt? Øh, ja, jeg kunne slet ikke mærke den. <laughs> Og bare det, at jeg kunne mærke den fod løft, så det var jo en kæmpe hjælp. Altså, hold op, tænkte jeg bare. <laughs> Hvad, hvad forskel tænker I, det vil gøre for Louis, hvis han får sådan en dårlig? Altså, jeg tror for det første, så rent fysisk, så, så tror jeg, at han vil kunne bruge musklerne og øh, balancere i sin krop. Altså i forhold til, øh, hvordan han udvikler sit ben. Øh, og rent øh, psykisk, så tror jeg, at det også gør rigtig meget, at øh, han kan have normalt fodtøj på. Og han, øh, han kan have almindeligt, altså, almindelige, almindelige bukser, almindelige, øh, almindelige sko som alle de andre, så han kommer til at ligne de andre. Og så er den jo også varm her på om sommeren, så øh, mindre svedige fødder. <laughs> det kan helt klart gøre, klar, gøre en forskel i min hverdag at få den, fordi det hjælper mig. Bare i og med, at jeg skal koncentrere mig mindre om at gå. Walkit is different from the other devices. It's the only system where the patient doesn't have to wear a heel sensor in their shoe, which means you can wear any type of footwear that you want. You can walk barefoot, which is in summer is what most people do or at home. They don't want to wear shoes indoors. Um, because 
there's no heel sensor. It works effectively when you're climbing stairs. Most people don't have their heels on the stairs when they climb up. It means it's a single unit. You don't have to charge the device up. Um, all the other devices have to be charged overnight. Walkade uses a 1.5 volt AA battery that you can buy in any supermarket and that lasts for a month. Our customers will be supplied with 40 electrodes in the package. The other devices you only get four, so your costs are much higher, your, your follow-up costs. And most people with the other devices have to buy another heel sensor, um, otherwise they can only wear one pair of shoes. Um, putting it on and off, it's very easy with one hand, it's a single unit. We have small children who know how to use it at age five to people up to their 80s. So it's, it's a very easy system to use. The programming that we have means that we can make it a very, very natural walking pattern. We have so many things that we can change and then it can be used by therapists actively to, make, so to attain goals uh, within the therapy programs too, which are not quite as easy with the other devices. Most of the children with cerebral palsy do not have heel contact, so getting a heel sensor to work won't happen. I have um, a patient who hadn't walked on the grass barefoot for years who called me up to tell me he'd managed to do this again and was so happy. People who've walked along the beach for the first time barefoot in years. Um, ladies who've been able to wear sandals again. I have another lady who had her stroke 18 years before she got the walk aid, who didn't leave the house on her own. She now walks, because I can measure it in her walk aid, four and a half thousand steps a day. She's lost 12 kilos. She can now sit and lift her foot up herself 20 years after a stroke, which wasn't possible before. And even the children, I have children after wearing a walk aid for a year, they've never been able to lift their foot up on their own. They can sit and now they can actively lift their foot up. Yeah, yeah. The muscles, the connections to the brain have been, they've never been there with these children. They've been produced because of all the repetitions that we have. Um, and that's what happens. The brain, when, it, when you're trying to get recovery and improve the connections, you need thousands and thousands of repetitions a day. And that cannot be achieved by physiotherapy and exercise. It has to be something that's worn all day long and that's why the walk aid can produce these things. Yeah, you get more um, an improvement in the amount of um, movement at the ankle joint. So I have with a lot of the children they come in and they've got no heel contact at all when we start and after six months we're getting heel contact with every single step. So we've stretched out the muscles and then they, after that, start to get active movement too. So we can then use that and change our programming so that with every step the activity that's there starts the movement and then the walk aid kicks in and supports that. Things that happen. If you walk incorrectly for years, you get problems in other joints, you get hip pain on the unaffected side, you get back pain, you get swelling in the leg. These are all things that we've seen to be improved by using the device. They're more independent, they don't need as much help. You've got somebody with MS who has young kids, they can take part in family life. You have somebody who's going back to work. They don't have to ask somebody to pick up something from the other side of the office for them, they can go and do it themselves. A young spinal injuries patient who's in their 20s and had a motorbike accident, accident, he can then go out with his friends and have a normal life because he can walk from A to B before he was being pushed by them in a wheelchair. So your quality of life and your self-confidence can increase considerably and that's sometimes a better result than the physical one. Men hvis du synes, at WalkAid er et, noget, du kunne være interesseret i at prøve, så er du altid velkommen til at komme ind til os hos Sava og afprøve det. Og så kan du i hvert fald prøve det på egen krop og finde ud af, om det er noget, du synes, der kan hjælpe dig. Jeg har i hvert fald set, at det kunne hjælpe mange andre mennesker, der synes, de har fået rigtig meget positivt ud af det. Så I er altid velkommen. Hvis jeg kunne, så ville jeg absolut gerne have en WalkAid der. Så hvis I fik tilbud, det lige så gerne. Ja, helt sikkert. Helt sikkert. Er det vinduer? Ja, det er det. Tak. <laughs> tak.